Well, welcome everybody to this first episode of the new year. Happy New Year, everybody! And uh, first of all, I want to thank everybody that has that has subscribed to my channel. Um, man, my goal is to put more. My goal is to put more, uh, more, con you know, more content and stuff out this year. My, I definitely want to put out more videos and talk more, interact more. Um, I'm at 112 subscribers. I mean, I I love to hit 200 by the end of the year. <laughs> you know. Um, I, I love the audience that I do have. There are a few people that I do interact, you know, mainly with, which I always appreciate. Um, I hope everyone, I hope everyone has uh, had everyone, uh, a safe New Year's Eve. I was at work. <laughs> That's all I've been doing is working. Uh, but uh, today I come with a video because it's, it's my Mochu figure came in. Uh, I, I knew it was on its way. Uh, the Thunder Punch He Man came in, and this this toy is actually really really cool. Uh, my favorite one growing up. Uh, was Battle Armor He Man? I always love. I always loved Battle Ham uh, Battle Armor He Man. I actually had that one before the regular He Man, believe it or not. Um, but this this one is actually really really cool. Uh, I do have I do have a um, I do have a battle. I do have a Thunder Punch He Man. So I'm actually gonna take that down. Actually, give me one second. I'm gonna walk over here. I'm gonna take this down. I have it right here. And I'm gonna do a little comparison of the two. I'm gonna do a little comparison of the two because I, because the, the you know what this one actually needs a comparison. It's really really cool. So first I'm like I always do. I'm gonna show you the car lock, which Axel Jimenez always knocks it out of the park. And then I'm gonna show you the comic book because the comic book is very different. I believe King Hiss and Thunder Punch He Man for some reason they have their own comic book. So I'm gonna start off with the car lock. That's the front. I love the Thunder Punch. Uh, Oh, uh, like little things, like little, little um, uh, thing they give it. It's so cool. It's, it's actually really, really cool looking. And then there's the back, because it is a deluxe set. How about the glare? So really, really cool looking. Like, in my camera's gonna be the opposite. That's why I'm sorry if it looks backwards. And then I'm gonna show you the comic book, which is. This 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 is I I I keep all the comic books. My kid, my uh, my son, my youngest son likes to read these. So so here's the back of the comic book. Just showing you it was new for twenty two. I still gotta pick up that one, and then that's actually coming in the mail. So I'm excited about this, I'm excited about this King Kiss. This King Kiss one looks really really cool. So on the front it has. You can hear my son in the back. He's laughing. He's watching some. Uh, we got a, my uh, my girlfriend got him a Fire Stick for Christmas. And he's just he's going through YouTube watching funny videos, so you might hear him in the background a little bit. Close to my seven year old, he's here with me today. So as as Mechanic as Mechanic in it, as you can see with the Road Ripper and. Um, oh. I love that. I, I gotta get that Road Ripper. I don't have that Road Ripper yet. These comics are so cool, man. They really are. The artwork is just so good looking. I, lo I love the artwork on this. The Saucer is also in this. And that's that guy. So that's a comic book in the card. Huh? And now first, I'm going to show you the old one. Uh, the old one was pretty cool because you could, as most of us remember, you could pull it back and it would make that pop. That pop sound. There it is. Because in the, because the old one, you'd, you'd put like a popper in here. So you'd, so you'd have that design. You know, that design look. You know, you turn it. You know, and then it would, and then it would pop. You know what I mean? So it had that pop. So this is the old one from the 1980s, and now uh, this is the new one. So this is the new one, and it comes with this like this fire fire punch, which I I absolutely love. You can take it, you take it right here, and you can put it on the fist. 
Sim go simply on. And then he has his shield, which, just like the old one, I, don't, I actually don't have the shield for my 1980s one. Gotta, I gotta get one, I don't have one. <laughs> so ready? So you take that off, and then his is backpack, which, it doesn't open or anything, but it's just a model of what it looked like back in the 80s. And then, this is the thing I love, ready? Boom! Hear that? There it is. Love that. Absolutely love that. And if you put, because you know, you can, these things, these ones, uh, you can put it like, like an action pose. Put the punch up there. Boom. Boom. Love this toy. Now the, the, now the waist doesn't come apart because of the action sound. It does not, you can't pull it apart whatsoever. But man, look at that. That is just sharp looking. That is really, I love this, I love this one, man. You know what I mean? I, I, I actually like this one better than the, I like this one better than the, the 80s one. I don't know, there's something about it that just sticks out. And I love this little gimmick that they put on it right here. So he's like coming in with a thunder punch. Absolutely love it. This, this is, they did a really good job with this team, man. I like this one a lot. You know, for a figure that we have so many variants for, and they pretty much all look the same, this one just, for some reason in my mind, this just one just, I don't know why, but it just sticks out to me, and I just really, I really, really like it. You know, Battle, Ar Battle Armor He-Man has always been my favorite, but this one just really is sticking out, and I love this thing. It's just, boom, it's like, it's, it's, you can put this thing in a really good action pose. So I'm really excited to see the King Hiss. I'm really excited to see King Hiss. So there's my Thunder Punch He-Man. Man, he's just so cool looking. Just... This thing, yeah. Um, when, I, when it came in, I was just super excited. I was just super excited. So I hope this, hope we get another good year of Motu figures, man. Uh, like, like I said, the Mo, the, uh, the Mechanic and the Road Ripper come together. Um, I did pre-order that because on eBay, people sell off like seventy-five dollars. It's really only like thirty, I think thirty bucks or thirty-two dollars. So uh, hopefully that comes in soon. Uh, but uh, man, you know what, man? I have a really good, I have a, I have a really good feeling about this year. I feel like this year is gonna be a good year. Uh, I was even telling my best friend, and, my, and I was telling my girlfriend um, that I just, I don't know, I got these really good vibes inside. I just feel like it's going to be a really, really good year. So I, I hope it's a good year for us. Well, we know us DC fans are also getting uh, four good movies this year, so I'm excited about that. Hopefully more Motu figures coming out. You know, I, I don't know what else is coming out on the line, uh, but I'm excited. There is a Grizzlaw that I want to get. There's Space Sumo that I want to get from uh, The Rules of the Sun. I haven't got that one. Or Condor, I haven't got him. Uh, I haven't got that guy at all. I, I like him because my favorite color is yellow. He's all he's all dressed up in yellow. So, uh, but yeah, man. So, you know, my New Year's resolution this year is is to is to be in. You know, I want to get in better shape. I want to be more serious at the gym. At the gym. Start the year off good. Worked out this morning. Had a great workout. I always feel good after a workout. Um, I just want to. Uh, I want to be better. You know, just good with people. Just want to make smarter choices. Sometimes I can spend money. Sometimes I can spend money foolishly, <laughs> and then the future Michael will worry about it. But I want to have a really good year. Uh, I want to save up, be able to save up, save up enough money this year. You know, just to have a nice, nice emergency. I'm, I'm really good at saving money, even though I spend it sometimes stupidly. But I actually do spend, save my save money pretty good. So, uh, but uh, just want to have a good year overall, and I can feel it's gonna be. I feel like it's gonna be a really good year. So I hope. I hope. I want to send vibes out to all you guys. Hope all you guys enjoy. Hope you guys all have good vibes and have a great 2023. Can't believe it's 2023 already. God, I remember being in high school. I remember not high school, junior high and elementary school. And just like 6th grade and 7th grade. And, you know, it was 1992, 95. And here we are in 2023. It's nuts how much the time goes by fast. So, uh, God, I miss the 80s. I miss the 80s and 90s so much. I can talk about it all day. I, really, I, I, miss, I miss the good old days. You know, it sucks because as you get older, it kind of gets worse. You know, I, I love all this technology stuff, but like I just miss the good old days when, I, when everything was, you know, just wasn't it wasn't right there for you. You had to work for it, you know. And I think that's I think I think technology is the reason why. I think technology is another thing that ruins movies and stuff because, you know, before before you go see a movie in the theaters, you know, you you hear all about it online, and then the people that go see it before you have a chance to go see it. They, they, they kind of spoil it online. It's like everything's just online. And don't get me wrong, I'm guilty because I do like looking, looking, I do like looking things up online too. But man, I just miss, I miss the, the, uh, the excitement of not knowing. You know, I remember, you know, you know, back in the day, like seeing cameos of guys in movies and women, women in movies and not knowing that they were in it and just be blowing your mind, you know what I mean? Because the internet wasn't around to showcase and spoil stuff, and just, eh, I, that, that's one thing I, I, I do miss. I wish, 
I wish the, the, the internet wasn't like that, you know, so. But, uh, hey guys, man, I hope, I hope you guys have a great day today. I have a lot more videos coming up. I'm actually going through my whole, I'm having my, uh, my meter changed in my house. So I have to do, I have to go through all my toys. So I'm thinking about maybe recording it as I do it. I'm going to go through my Ninja Turtles, my Bill and Ted, uh, my Street Shocks. I have so many toys I'm going to go through. And I might do it in like like, like a four-part video or something. It's going to take me a long time. Wait till I show you what my toys look like downstairs. I can, only, I can only showcase so much over here. You should see what I have downstairs. I also want to do my, my room up a little bit more. I have black walls. The person that lives here before me had black walls. And I want to, I want to showcase my Friday the 13th NECA figures. I want to have, I have all, all of them packaged and brand new. I want to put them on my wall. I want to spice my room up because the, the black rooms look depressing, you know. But, uh, okay, guys, hope you guys have a great day today. Hope everybody's safe. Starts off the, start off the, the new year great. Remember, man, God first and family. Until my next video, take care, guys. Peace.